Now let's look at the first question on determining the natural frequency of a vibrating system. So this is a vibrating system, all right. So in which you have two springs and uh, this mass is at the center of this or I would say connected by these two springs in this fashion. It gets a displacement in a vertically downward direction. Okay, so we have to find out the natural frequency of this system. So very simple is that try and make a free body diagram of the entire system and then just equate the forces as per the Newton's method. And then you will get a differential equation and from that the calculation of the frequency is very simple. So let us say this is the body, this is having an acceleration in this direction. It would result in a pseudo force in this particular direction. Okay. The spring force is in this direction and the first spring because this moves down which tries to elongate the spring K1 because it is getting elongated an inertia force in the spring will try to pull it back. So this is K1x in this direction. In spring 2 it is getting compressed. So to avoid the compression there will be an inertia force again in this direction which would be K2x. Okay, so I will have mx double dot plus k1 plus k2 into x is equal to 0. This is your differential equation and x double dot plus k1 plus k2 into x is equal to 0 upon m. And then you can say that x is equal to a sin omega t. Okay, so x double dot is equal to minus omega square x. So I will put this over here and we will get minus omega square x plus k1 plus k2 upon m into x equal to 0. So x can be cancelled now. So omega square would be k1 plus k2 upon m. So omega would be under root k1 plus k2 upon m and this would be in radians per second. So the frequency in hertz, this is omega m, the frequency in hertz would be fn which is 1 upon 2 pi into under root k1 plus k2 upon m hertz. So this is the natural frequency. Okay, so this is all that you have to do in this video, very very simple, just look at the system, try and draw a free body diagram, write down the differential equation and rest, it is very very easy. So this was question number 1, now let us move on to question number 2.